In this video, I'm going to review the Amazon Product Opportunity Explorer. This is a new program by Amazon in a report dashboard that gives you valuable information about categories, search terms, and top products on Amazon, helping you doing product research in ways you couldn't do before. And I'm going to show you how I use it, what everything means, and how you can use it to improve your product research, improve your keyword research, know what keywords to target on PPC advertising, know what products to target on PPC advertising, how to tell if the product opportunity you're going after is worth it and a lot of more valuable information. So let's dive in. In this video I'm using as an example a diaper bag. So we're going to type this in and you could see here different options but we're going to go with diaper bag just so we can get an idea of what's going on over here. So as you can see the first page, the first page, the entrance to this program, product opportunity explorer page is search results options for the keyword you typed in and here it will allow you to choose a customer need they call it so this is sort of like a niche obviously it's automated so there's a lot of the times there'll be things that are duplicated or that are not categorized correctly but you will be able to tell very quickly where to focus your attention by looking at the numbers so over here we see diaper bag is the first is the customer need we typed in that's the first one that comes up and here it will show you top search terms so these are separate search terms that are similar to diaper bag that Amazon is grouping all in within this one customer need and combining the data for all those search terms. Once we click on this, we will see a lot more information and a lot more search terms, and I'm gonna go over that in a minute. As you can see here, before we look at these numbers, there are similar search terms, similar customer needs, like leather diaper bag, diaper bag organizing pouches, dad diaper bag, and stuff like that. So Amazon doesn't always do a great job of grouping all similar keywords and search terms into the same group. So sometimes you'll have to you know, look at two or three different ones to get a complete picture. But for the most part, it's it's uh, very helpful. So here you can see diaper bag. It's These are the top search terms that are grouped in here. Search volume, this is real search volume from Amazon. They're telling you that in the last year, in the last 360 days, total number of times customers entered any of these search terms in the niche on Amazon in the past 360 days. So this is 3,400,000, etc. Search volume growth, this is very valuable. This shows you if, an, if a category or niche is growing or declining over the last year. So 22% pretty good when you narrow down to smaller search terms the smaller customer niches then the percentages could be a lot higher because the smaller changes would equal larger percentage changes so the higher the niche usually the percentage would be lower but still 24 percent is a lot search volume in the last 90 days so that's that's this 844,000. Search volume growth. So in the last 90 days, it's pretty much flat. Units sold. This is a very important metric. So search volume shows how much interest there is. Units sold shows you how much, how what percentage of that interest actually translates into sales, which is obviously the most important metric. So we will go over that in a minute. We will see some niches have very high search volume but very low units sold, which means people, you know, they're searching for that, but either they can't find the exact thing they want, or they actually once they get the results, they realize something else is better. Number of top Click products shows you that 80% of the click, the products that are together account for 80% of the clicks. So those are basically the top dogs in the category. And then average price, you know, gives you a good idea of what an average product, what's the average price of products in that category. So before we go into the actual data, you could see here very quickly, diaper bag has 3.4 million trip searches over the last 360 days. And then we're going to look at 90 days because that's where we have unit sold data. So 844,000 searches in the last 90 days. Out of that translated into 20,000 or 25,000 units sold. So for this category, conversion rate is about 2.9% or 3%. And then if you go down and you look at other categories, you will see conversion rate, you know, around 2%, but sometimes it could be a lot higher. And usually that's when the, the more specific the category this customer need is, the higher the conversion rate will be, right? So for example, this one, Diaper Genie Bag Refill, this is, a, a I think, a specific brand and people are looking to buy the refill bags for it. So you can see this has a crazy, almost 30% conversion rate, 303,000 searches and almost 100,000 units sold in the last 90 days. So this is a very, very targeted, you know, customer need that whoever's searching for it knows exactly what they want and they're going to buy it. So this is very uncommon. For the most part, when we look at the top categories, you know, we will see conversion rates at about these numbers. Once we dig in deeper, these numbers, uh, the conversion rates should go up. So let's click inside and see what the next screen shows. So the first thing we have on this page is the data we saw in the previous page, which is the number of top product clicks, products clicked, average price, search, total search volume, total units sold. Now here's where we get 
a lot more data and this is where the real valuable data is product research and for for advertising for keyword research for all that so right over here we could see top click products when customers search for diaper bag so this is for this specific search term and uh, not for this specific, for search terms that are included within this diaper bag so we have the top product and it's automatically sorted by click share but you could sort it by um, other metrics and we'll go through them so this is the first one you can see the brand category obviously launch date so this tells you how old the product is so for example right here there is a product that was launched only about a year ago and is already uh, number four in the category so that means you know this is a product to look at to see you know maybe you could copy what they're doing or see how they're able you know to get up here so quickly and uh, you know dominate this category compared to other sellers that have been selling you know earlier than them and longer than them uh, you know maybe looking at other products they sell and uh, trying to understand what what differentiates them and how they're able to do such a good job so right here we have this product 2018 click count so you know this is the total numbers that should add up to 844,000 so these guys have about a, a quarter of market share in, in uh, click count so meaning a quarter of all searches are ending up clicking on their product this number is actually lower I'm not sure why this shows 14% it should be a bit more and then average selling price uh, you know, so they raise the price, lower the price. So in the last 90 days, this was the average price. If we look at it right now, the price is 40.99. So it's about in line. With the average price, total reviews 22,000. So right away, you can see, you know, they have the most reviews. Average customer rating 4.8. So that's pretty high. Average VSR is one. Average number of sellers and vendors selling the same product in the last 90 days. So, so that's five. You know, so that could include, I guess, used conditions and and uh, some products that more than one seller. So right here. Just from looking at this quickly, we could see that in this customer need most products have 4.8, 4.7, 4 4.8 star rating. So right away that tells you, you know, if you want to launch a product in this uh, niche, it better be really, really good, and you better have a very good strategy in acquiring reviews and uh, growing that because the competitors are all very, very high. And uh, you know, 4.8 stars that means it shows a perfect five star image on the product which is huge for conversion so we can see here you see 22,000 reviews and you see a five star image it's very hard to compete with that if your product has less uh, less stars than that so this list the rest of the products pretty much the same idea uh, it has all the data on them and you can see you know the ones that have the most reviews average selling price and all that now this list goes on page two and one drawback of this uh, screen over here and the other screens I'm going to show you is that Currently, there is no way to download it, um, to download this information into Excel or, or you know anything like that to be able to uh, to manipulate it and, and use it for targeting or stuff like that. Amazon doesn't even show you the ASIN. Later on in the video, I'm going to go over how to copy over the information into Excel in an easy way and extract the ASINs, the links, the all the information that you need in a relatively easy way. The next page is called Search Terms. This page breaks down the actual search terms that Amazon is using and combining into this one big niche of diaper bag. So these are all the search terms, all the data over here is combined up and totaled here. So we have diaper bag, diaper bag, backpack, diaper bags, baby bag, diaper backpack, and so on and so on. And you can see here sorted by search volumes. This is again, this is real search volume from Amazon showing you how many people searched for this in the last 90 days. Search volume growth, you know, so you could see, you know, diaper bags for baby girl is uh, growing in the last quarter. So this goes by quarter over quarter. Diaper bag for baby boy is also growing. So these are more targeted keywords. But overall, this seems, you know, relatively not such big swings. And this is year over year. So year over year, you know, again, diaper bag has been going up. We can see here a click share of this keyword. So this niche diaper bag, the actual search term diaper bag accounts for almost half of the searches meaning most people searching, 40% of people searching in this niche are actually just typing in the words diaper bag and another 15% are typing in the words diaper bag and then another 6% diaper bag. So right there, you know, right over here, this is easily 60% of searches in the entire category are using the word diaper bag. So, you know, that's an extremely important keyword to use. And, you know, that might be obvious for this category, uh, but for some categories, you might be able to find that uh, you know, the second or the third one are completely different words. So for example here, baby bag is does not contain the words diaper bag, yet it is, you know, pretty high in the amount of searches compared to other variations of diaper bag. And 
so you know you should probably include that in, in your keywords and in your advertising and there's a lot of information here usually the amount of search terms here is not going to be a lot Amazon just looking at the you know the top search terms for the category and it'll go down maybe to a few thousand searches and that's it the last two columns are also extremely important search conversion rate so this shows you for every search term what percentage of people searching it actually end up buying so this is huge for buyer intent and it will show you that if you target diaper bag with changing station even though there's only 20,000 searches there is a 5.3 percent conversion rate compared to the word anyone who searches for diaper bag there's only a 2.4 conversion rate. this is more than double this keyword converts more than double this keyword so for example for advertising this is a huge difference because that means that all things being equal say it costs a dollar to bid on the word diaper bags and a dollar to bid on the word diaper bag with changing station which in, in reality diaper bags is actually probably more expensive but even if all things were equal and they were both cost a dollar to bid on them for every 10 clicks so for every ten dollars you spend on the word diaper bags you would only make two and a half sales so you know for every 20 clicks so every twenty dollars you would make four sales whereas for this one for every twenty dollars you spent you would make 10 sales. Your return on this keyword would be much higher. Obviously, your diaper bag has to have a, charging, a changing station for this to work, um, but the concept, the idea works on the same on any amount of keywords and any type of search term that you're targeting. If you look at the conversion rate, you could find keywords that have a higher conversion rate, and that can tell you, give you a good idea of what to bid on them, and cal when you're calculating your profitability on advertising, you should know that if it costs a dollar per click and the average conversion rate is 2.9%, then you'll be able to calculate how many clicks you will need to make a sale and be able to decide to make decisions on, on what keywords to bid on. The last part of this is the top three clicked products. So this shows you for each specific search in the top three clicked products. If you click on them, it will just go back to the previous page of products showing you all the different products and you know showing you highlighted this product that we just clicked on. And again, there's no way to download this. However, you can uh, copy paste this into Google Sheets. That won't work for these top three click products. These are images, probably won't copy over the ASIN. But again, I will show you at the end of the video different ways you can uh, try to copy the information contained over here. The last page is uh, Insights. So this page will give you more valuable uh, data about this niche. And we'll quickly go over the different pieces of data. So number of products, this is total number of products that account for, like we said before, 80% of uh, of the entire market the number of products using sponsored products these are how many asins uh, how many brands are advertising their products and it's pretty much all of them 95 percent 100 percent 83 percent um so yeah so you know this is obvious today for most of amazon but there are probably some still still some niches that not everyone's advertising but this niche obviously everyone's advertising uh same thing with prime products 87 uh, percent this is uh for today but you know, in the last 90 days, 100% of products of these products were prime. So again, you know, you have to be prime FBA to compete. Top five products, click share. This shows you the dominance of the top five, and it's almost at 50%. So that means five product, top five products get half of all the clicks. Top 20 products, click share. Again, this is 82%. This means that four fifths of the market are controlled by the top 20 products, at least in click share. Average per seller rank, 38. Average number of reviews. 4,500. I'm not sure why it's blank 90 days ago, but you get the idea. Here you could see the number of brands. So even though there are 41 products that are controlling this niche, it's only 32 brands. That means at least 10 brands or maybe a little less, but some brands have more than one product. Again, we see that this the same information as before, just broken down by brand. And we can see your top five brands control over half of the market. My top 20 brands control 92%. So that's up from 82% top 20 products meaning the top 20 products, at least one or two brands have more than one product that are in the top 20. So yeah, so this is very concentrated. If this, you know, there's 20 brands controlling the entire market um, and five brands controlling over half, so very competitive. Average brand age and niche is 2.9 years, and this is uh, going down from a year ago, so meaning there are some new brands that came in in the last year or two. You know, we've seen that before in the products page, the actual age of each ASIN that showed up. Number of selling partners, so this should show you how many sellers are on each ASIN, and I guess this is an average. It's really one, so this shows you that most of the market or is, is private label, one seller selling one brand. Average selling partner age and niche, so this shows you, before we saw the average, brand age in the niche and that's the average amount of time brands and the current products in the niche have had at least one product in this niche so that's how average amount of time average age of this they are in this niche but this shows you 
how experienced the sellers are in this niche so you know who you're up against meaning these sellers and brands selling over here even though they've only entered the market two or three years ago they have selling on Amazon for over you know for around seven years average amount of time selling partners offering the current products in the niche have offered at least one product in this niche yeah so I'm not sure if this description is correct but it should be the difference between I guess this is for applies to the brand and this applies to the actual sellers so the sellers you know have been selling in this niche possibly selling other brands you know for a lot longer and then launch their own brand in the last uh, two three years number of new products launched in the last 180 days so it's really only two so this obviously this is not in the entire niche this is products that are that made it into this list so that we said it's about uh, 41 products so only two of them will add, were launched in the last six months meaning anyone else that launched in the last six months did not make it into the top 41 and then number of successful launches number of new launches with an annualized revenue amount of fifty thousand dollars in the last thirty days, so Amazon considers a product that selling about four thousand dollars a month, which equals about fifty k annualized, uh, to be successful. So it's again two, so that's probably the same two from above. Number of new products launched in the past three hundred sixty days. So we see in the last three hundred sixty days. Uh, well, this is actually the last, the last 90 days, 6, and the last 360 days, 10. So only 10 new listings launched in the last 360 days. So this, this, these are the same metrics as before, just for 360 days. Number of successful launches in the last 360 days, and that's 6. And then we have average review rating, 4.73. So this, we saw this before on the on the product page, you know, that it's very, most products are very high highly rated. Average out of stock rate is for the last 90 days, 1.81% or 0.99% meaning most of these sellers are maintaining stock most of the time and it's not a surprise since you know these are these products are selling very few sellers very few brands are selling controlling most of the market they're obviously selling mm, a lot of products per month so they have extra inventory and they rarely go out of stock average product listing quality 91 out of 100 so again this shows you most sellers in this category know what they're doing so again very competitive now obviously these numbers and, and information will be different for each niche you look at um, this is an example of diaper bag niche now if we go back to the initial search page we looked at you will realize that diaper bag is not the only customer niche that would be relevant to you if you were trying to sell this product because there are other ones here so leather diaper bag might only be relevant to you if you're actually selling a leather diaper bag however if you're selling a diaper bag that has organizing pouches which i would imagine most do you know then there's a lot more data here that's categorized under this customer niche even though your product might qualify under both so you know you could go in here and then do repeat the same steps look at these products and the information on them the search terms that are combined under this category niche and as you can see here there are actually a lot more long tail search terms with less search volume that are present here so this is a lot more data you know that's a lot more granular and like we mentioned before conversion rates tend to be much higher you know with more detailed and targeted uh, long tail customer search terms here we have nine percent six and a half percent diaper bag organizing patches definitely don't overlook that and then there could be multiple so then we have dead diaper bag and red dates i guess this is a brand uh, but we have dead diaper bag you know this one actually has more search terms than this niche so definitely you know check this one as well units sold you know there's a significant number here disney diaper bag i guess this is only relevant you know if you have a, that design baby doll diaper bag mom bag might be relevant maybe not three in one diaper bag with charging station this doesn't have any sales so might overlook that and then basically go down the list usually the top few will be relevant and the other ones might not be but you'll be surprised diaper caddy might be relevant depending on your what your product exactly is and then again you could search this you could sort this by right now it's sorted i'm assuming by relevancy to the search term that i typed in but you could search you could sort this by search volume and then find the look at the ones that have the highest search volume so you'll find here you know similar things or things that you didn't think of same thing you could do with units sold to try to find niches that you know that are control a ton of the markets so of baby wipes obviously you know is the highest one over here um but um lunchbox diapers cream so again you know within this niche most of these things are obvious but when once you start digging into niches that are less obvious you will find here a lot of related things that you may have not thought about another feature that exists today is you could instead of typing in a search term you could just search by category and say you know you want to go into the health category and um, look at medical supplies and equipment home tests so this is hot right now so you could click see category and then you will see over here different home tests so i was expecting to see 
COVID tests over here. I don't see COVID. I'm not sure why. But in any case, you could go and um, search for different categories, and then it will bring up different niches within those categories. And you can repeat the same exercise. So you know, search by units sold, or search by search term by search volume, and then go and dig in and and try to find the data that's relevant to you. So when it comes to exporting this information, I'm going to go over some options you have. Since currently, time of this video, there is no export option built into Amazon to export any of these uh, pages. So we're going to start with the first page, which is when you type in, you know, a search uh, term, and then Amazon brings up different niches and uh, the top search terms. So this one is relatively easy. Um, you will just highlight all the way down, and of course, you could change this to, you know, more than 25 results. But for our purposes, we're just going to copy 25 and then just paste them here. So we have here all that information. Uh, now, if you click on any of this, it's going to take you back to South Central to the same uh, screen. And over here, you have all this information. You could uh, filter it. And here you have it. Now, once you click in here, so Let's click in here. Now this information, this table, you can copy and paste as well. Same idea, uh, copy everything. And paste it here. Now you have all this information here. Um, these are the products that we see over here. So it doesn't copy over the picture, but it does copy over the titles with the link to Amazon. Now I'm gonna show you in a minute how to extract the ASINs um, from these from these fields into a new column. So you could possibly use it for keyword research, for reverse ASIN searches, for product ad targeting, etc. So we're gonna review that in a minute. Now the search term screen, again, you could copy and paste the whole thing into Google Sheets, into an Excel sheet. Um, however, it won't copy over the top three clicked product images or ASINs. So if we do that here, we will see we will get the search terms again this will link back to south central um, you know the headers you could fix over here top three click, three click products uh, will be empty and then the inside screen this you can copy over as well same idea this should copy over all the information here we go all right so we're left with uh the products tab we got into the sheet Sorry, that was the matching dishes with diaper bag. So this we got into the sheet, everything except for the image, which uh, I think is good enough. And then for the products, we got everything into the sheet except for the images, but we want to be able to extract the ASINs. So well, I'm going to review now how to do it. Now there's, there are different, uh, there's at least one Chrome extension that's able to uh, um, download this information. However, I haven't found one yet that is uh, reliable and uh, trustworthy. So. Um, you know, you could do your own research on, on Chrome extensions. Um, but there's a relatively easy way within Google Sheets to extract the ASIN from this from this field. So the way it, it is copied over is the field actually only has in it the words. It does not have the ASIN. And then it's, it's a link attached to it. So you can manually try to copy over the ASIN from each one over here. Or you could do it in bulk with a Google Sheet extension. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to click on Extensions, Add-ons get add-ons and then in the search box you're going to click you're going to type in extract urls and you can click on this one install it uh, then you're going to click allow and then now you're going to refresh the page now what you're going to do is you're going to highlight all the ones that uh, all these all the list of these products now the first one i already did so i'm starting from the second one click extensions extract urls extract URLs and active range. Now what this does is, is it changes it instead of uh, the field to only contain the name, it actually changes the field to include the ASIN in here. So now we can use a simple formula in this column to show us only the ASINs. And I'm going to link to this Sheets extension in the comments and the description and also to the formula formula that you could use to extract the ASINs. Now these formulas may seem a bit intimidating if you're not uh, familiar with Google Sheets, but really all you gotta do is copy paste. Um, so what we're gonna do is the first column here, we're gonna paste this formula and um, what this does is it basically extracts from this field over here only the URL. So right now, uh, you know, the URL is in a separate column. And then the second formula is going to extract the ASIN from this column. 
So the second formula we're going to put over here. And now this is extracting the ASIN from this field. And then you just copy paste this or drag this down all the way. Now you have a list of all the ASINs from this column in a separate column. So you could copy them and do your research, product ads, etc. all those things. Now, of course, you could do this, you know, you should do this at the end. So first you gather all the data, you copy all the information from the tool into Google Sheets, um, you know, all the way down. And then you do this once, you copy this formula, this formula. Don't forget to use the extension uh, first, extract URLs. These formulas won't work otherwise. And now you have all this information here.